welcome to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's gonna be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're gonna cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's gonna be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely? And then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Hey Aquarius, so what do you need to know just generally as far as the vibe goes for career and money this month? Um, in career, this is not like a big month for leadership. Um, and the thing is, is for maybe some of you, you're furloughed. For others of you, it's um, other people are taking charge, but you shouldn't press the issue. You might not have a lot of faith in the people who are leading things, but honestly, um, there's nothing that you can really do about it. I mean, I am i don't have any Aquarius in my chart, but I don't really feel super confident that our government's handling this pandemic situation very well, right? You might be on that same wavelength. Maybe you're not, whatever. But the point is that um, there's a little bit of fear here and don't, try not to let that lead you in regards to career. Or maybe you're afraid that you can't find a job, right? If you're looking for a new one. Maybe you're afraid you won't get to keep your job, but that fear isn't really helping you, okay? It's not getting you the recognition that you deserve. It's not helping you really in any regard. So try to release it if you can. That's the vibe. In regards to money, um, you're afraid that maybe you can't hold on to it. You can't save enough of it. Um, that you're not going to have enough to get by. So um, that's the overall vibe. Now that that energy doesn't really help us, okay? Because um, it's not the right vibrational energy to attract money. Money is an energy just like love is, or you know, happiness and joy is, or even negativity is. You know, negativity breeds more negativity. So when we have that in our money relationship, we're we're not really attracting what we want. This blog post here will help you get that straight. Will help you get it right to get it back on track. So. What do you have to look forward to this month in regards to career and then in regards to um, uh, money? <laughs> Sorry. It, my brain was just like going straight to the career stuff because what they say you have to look forward to is that you don't have to stand your ground. Um, and so they're like, you know, there might not be a cause for you to stand up for. You, you might be discontent because you're bored, okay? And so that's interesting because it's such an Aquarius thing. Aquarians are all about, you know, social justice and making sure that things are right and they're fair and they're, you know, um, you know, the plight of others, like on a worldwide thing. So, you know, some Aquarians might want to be the guy at Amazon who's demanding appropriate PT, PPE and hazard pay. And, you know, you guys might be bored if you don't have anything like that going on right now. Um, but no news is good news, right? Nothing to do is, is maybe good. In regards to money, they're saying, you know, your foundation is fine and everything that you've worked towards, it's not totally lost. So we might be afraid that more prosperity isn't coming, but they're like, but you're not going to hemorrhage as much as you think. Like, you know, pendulums swing in different directions. So maybe you're like, okay, I maybe I'm a hairstylist, okay, and I can't work right now and I'm running out of money. But maybe when you go back to work, all of a sudden your clients come back and your schedule is booked more than usual and they're tipping high too. OK, so they're just like, you know, try to be content with what is still there for you, what hasn't been lost and know that things are going to change. Um, and so there's no really reason to be afraid. It's not irrational to be afraid, but it's not helping you to be afraid, if that makes sense. So the biggest annoyance um, in career and then also in um, workplace stuff, the biggest annoyance is that it's challenging to have a lot of hope and a lot of faith and to understand that new beginnings are coming and changes are happening and everything is gonna be okay. But it might not feel like that for you right now. Okay, like change is uncomfortable for a lot of people. 
no, even if it is and even if it does end up to be good for us. OK, so um, that's the biggest, most annoying thing in regards to your money. They're saying these changes are kind of happening behind the scenes and you're going to love what's coming. But it's hard to love that now. It's hard to love money now when we have all of that fear. So, again, I just direct you straight to that blog post right there. Um, where do you need to look more closely at career? And they say it's not really at the shadow side. It's just more like on the day to day level, like what's in front of me right now? Um, like understanding that things aren't going to change, even if I want them to, like super quickly in the direction that I want them to. So I don't need to fear what is changing behind the scenes that I can't really see. I just have to be accepting of it and trust that everything's going to work out. Um, you know, boredom, I think, is the biggest problem. Um, so as far as money goes, again, they just say, really look at what's not fucked up right now. Do you still have internet service? Do you still have a cell phone? You know, do you still have a place to live? Maybe you didn't pay your rent, but have you been evicted yet? No. Okay. Thank God for that. So maybe this um, article here on gratitude might also be helpful. There's a lot of little tips and tricks, little um, freebies and templates to help you get your energy right with a lot of the stuff on my website. You don't have to put in your email address or anything so I can spam you. I'm not going to do that. Just go get them because it does help. Um, links in the description. So overall guidance and advice and career, just be patient, okay? Because, I mean, honestly, there's a, everything is going to be okay for you. Maybe it doesn't feel that way, but just time has to pass, okay? That's it. Um, as far as money goes, that sacral chakra, that fear energy, we got to clear that. We got to remove those blocks um, so that things can start flowing. Pyrite is your crystal of the month. There's an article on my blog here about that. Um, it's actually my favorite crystal for money and abundance. So check it out. I love you so much. Bye.